After the Buddha gained awakening, he surveyed the world. He saw beings on fire, inflamed with fever. He was probably looking at us. We were someplace on fire, inflamed with fever. And until we're fully awakened, we've still got some fevers, we've still got some fires inside. So the Dharma here is this water to put out the fires, cooling medicine to alleviate the fevers. What does the Buddha teach us? He teaches us virtue, concentration, discernment. These things are all cooling. Now there's going to be some struggle in learning how to apply them. But the struggle is because of those fevers. So any part of the mind that's resistant to the practice, you have to call it into question. See where it's on fire. See where it doesn't have to be. As the Buddha pointed out, we are suffering because of the things we're attached to, and we're attached to things because we like them. John Suwat would talk about this often. He said, the cause of suffering is the things we like. And that goes against the grain to hear that, because we don't want to give up the things we like. Even the Buddha himself said that at the beginning of his practice when he realized he was going to have to give up sensuality in order to get his mind to settle down. His mind didn't leap up at the prospect. But when he realized that there would be benefits, he was willing to give it a try. So that's all the Buddha asks, is that you be willing to give it a try. He never claimed to be a god who could force us to do things or require us to do things. He's more like an expert. Someone who's put out his own fires and wants to give us advice on how to put out ours. So when you find your mind engaged in thoughts of greed, aversion, and delusion, remember you're on fire. For us, that's the natural state often, is to be on fire. And tell yourself, it is possible to be cooler than this. So look into it. The teachings are there, and it's just a matter of deciding that they're really on your side. Even though they seem to be attacking you, they're not attacking you, they're attacking defilement. They're attacking, attacking ignorance, things that you don't have to identify with. When your practice gets in line with the Dharma, that's when you've changed allegiance. No longer taking craving as your companion and friend. No longer holding down to the things that you like. Being willing to call them into question. And that's when you have hope of being cured of your fevers.